hello and welcome to another YouTube video thank you very much if you have subscribed to my channel and if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification button and uh, my channel called news with views and in this channel what I do is I read some of the news and give my personal opinion uh, it's got nothing to do with the uh, you know um, that I get information from somewhere that's my own personal opinion so that's what I think, this is how I read it. So if you read something different to what I read, please feel free to express it in the comment section below. So the read, uh, sorry, the news I'm gonna read now is called, a former, a former public health director has accused the government of coming very close to lies over the UK coronavirus death figures. Professor John Ashton, former regional director of Public Health England, said the number of people dying with the COVID-19 could be double what the public is being told. This is because of officials' counts are not including deaths outside the hospitals, such as both in the community or in care homes, he said. All deaths are registered by the Office for National Statistics, which is published data. Professor Ashton, who is also a former president of the Faculty of Public Health, told, at the moment, a lot of what's going on in these briefings is coming very close to lies. We must prevent this from happening at all costs. He said it may be one and a half time what we got. It may even be twice as many. You know, if I was to say, well, if it's 10, let's call it 20. It is my truth and better than their truth in this. Right, this is something very, very scary we're looking at here. He's saying the government is not actually telling the truth. The, the, number, the number they are saying, basically, like I said in my previous video, these are the people who are died in hospitals. So that is the figure the government has actually given. So we're not counting the people who are dying in those community or in care homes, he said. So the figures could be scary. We were blaming China back in um, uh, March that the Chinese government had not, have, you know, they, they haven't announced the figures properly because they think uh, these are the numbers that you know they've got, and we as a uh, European countries we were thinking that the you know the deaths are far more what the Chinese government has said and they were trying to hide. But the same thing is happening here because. Uh, John Ashton has accused the government for telling lies and I believe this this is what I was thinking uh, is true in, in my opinion because uh, the numbers are very odd, they're not going in a sequence if we're going through the peak the numbers are very up and down some numbers are an odd day they were 400 and something and the next day you're looking at 600 and the day after is 700 and then last uh, Saturday Sunday we're looking at 918 and 930 so there's a big, big difference in numbers. You know, these statistics are not right. And also they're saying the government is not telling the truth. Maybe the government is not telling the truth because they want to hide their, uh, you know, the, the poor performance in this uh, coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic. And they are sort of uh, trying to hide their failures because they are unable to act on time. Uh, as we said, uh, test numbers are not increased and uh, there's a very little progress on the vaccine. This is very, very little progress on the vaccine, and this is scary. It's absolutely scary, and I 100%, uh, you know, agree with John Ashton. Whatever he's saying is the government is not telling the truth, because the numbers, the numbers that we uh, are looking from the government officials, they're not the correct, and the numbers are higher, and there's no chance that you know these things will come to an end any sooner. So please be careful, like I said, you know, stay at home, you know, wear the masks, very important. Uh, every time you go out of the house, come back, use the hand sanitizer on your, en on your entrance and also your exit as well. So make sure you're keeping yourself safe and also the people around you. So thank you very much and feel free to express your uh, opinion in the comment section below. Most welcome. Thank you very much. See you later.